Hi guys, it's Gina from the Vintage Digs and I went out this morning. I had planned on going out and doing some garage sales today, but I woke up this morning and it was pouring rain and I was like, well, I don't think many people are going to be trying to do one in the pouring rain. So instead I went to a couple of thrift stores. The, um, the one that I went to the other day that they were moving all the stuff, they got it all moved over. And so I went in there to see if I could find anything. But before that, I went to one that I haven't been to in years. In fact, I had forgotten it was even there. It's a tiny, tiny little thrift store. They don't have a lot, but what they do have is really nice and it's priced very nice. So I'm gonna show you a few of the things I got. Now I'll try to remember where I got things from, if I can. Anyway, <clears throat> the small thrift store, the first one I went to, I did end up getting this cute little Delft ashtray shoe. It's marked on the bottom. Hand painted. It's in really good condition. You know, it probably needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but there's no chips or cracks on it. Thought that was really cute. And it's about this size. So it's not one of the little tiny ones. It's a good size. Great condition. So I got that at the little small thrift store. I also picked up, which I wish they had the whole thing, but it's okay. I got the base for a fairy lamp, a little amber. Good condition, no chips or cracks on it. But it's got, as you see, it's got the parts on there to hold the top in place. But, and there too, you can see it on the sides. Um, unfortunately, they did not have the top. It was just this piece right here, but I got a really good deal on it. And you can pick these up and resell them. You know, you're not gonna get as much as you will for the whole fairy lamp, but people look for these replacement parts. So I did go ahead and grab that. I think it's Indiana. I'm not real sure. Don't, don't hold me to that, please, because I don't know for sure. I haven't looked it up, but I think it's Indiana glass. And then at that same store, let me see what else I got there. Oh, I got this. I still got a sticker right there, but this pedestal, like footed ball. It's got a slight roll to the lip on it. And at first when I looked down at it, I thought it was a mayonnaise uh, bowl, but it's too large for that, I think. I don't think it's a mayonnaise bowl, but still a really pretty piece for the price that I got it. It's got like this etching in it and it's got a bird um like some kind of i guess it's not really a branch i don't know what it's on but anyway i thought it was really pretty there's no damage to it and it's got these lines cut into it all the way around the, all the, way around the rim and it's about this size let's see it's not real big but i still think it's too tall for a mayonnaise uh bowl I could be wrong again I never say I'm right on all this because I don't know I just hope for the best okay also something I got there if I can reach it I got this lovely piece now it does have a place right here it's not damaged but it's almost like a crimp mark from a tool maybe that they used but I like these Jack in the Pulpit uh, vases. I've sold these for years. And I love the colors on this one, just the green and the yellow, very simple, but so springy. A Little bit of white there on the back. Again, great condition. Everything that was in the store was in really good shape and really good prices above and beyond, which is what we all look for, right? So I got that piece. I'm trying to think what else I got there. Oh, I got something that's, oh. I got these, which this one has a little bit of damage to the inside from being used. I don't know if you can see that, like right in there, there's a little bit of scratching marks on it. And it's got a tiny little, it's, I wouldn't even call it a chip, it's almost like it's been melted right there. It's hard to see, see right there. But this is the larger one. It's got the spout, but it's Stanley Flex. And I think these date back to around the 50s. It's kind of like a melamine kind of thing. And then here is the smaller bowl. 
it goes with it. It also has the spout on it. So I got the set. I thought those were really cool. I picked that up at that same store. And then I also, one second. I don't want to break this. I'm being very careful. <clears throat> I got this crystal lidded dish. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was really pretty. It's got like the strawberry design on it. And it's got like the dot design there with the cuts, pretty footed. And the tall, I call them steeple, steeple style finial on the top. I just thought that was so pretty. Again, excellent condition. Not sure the age of this. Nice sound. Not sure the age. Uh, I tried to kind of research it a little bit and I couldn't find the maker or anything on this. I just saw it and I knew I had to have it. You know, certain things speak to you when you get in these stores and this is one of those things. But from what I researched so far, people are estimating this was 50s, 60s, but I don't know. I have no idea. I just thought it was really pretty. Look at that pretty heavy too but that's a statement piece right there imagine putting your candy in that you'd be the talk of the town and then I ended up picking this up because I'm probably gonna end up trying to put this one on uh, eBay or one of those kind of places and I hate when they put price stickers on the fronts of these things because getting them off is impossible I mean I paid a dollar for it I don't care if you guys know but Still, I just don't like the stickers on there, so I'm gonna take that off. But it's a board game called Twixt. I have never heard of this. I've never seen this. But, you know, I'll, I decided to pick it up. Of course, it's been opened and played with. You can see the damage on the sides and everything. But I decided to go ahead and grab it anyway. And I'm trying to see if I can find a date on this. Hold on one second. Here's the directions. Thank goodness because I have no idea how you would even play this. I've never heard of it. But it looks really interesting. And I don't see a date anywhere on this. And I didn't really look too much on the box because like I said, it was it was a dollar. So I was willing to take a chance. Okay, hold on. Right here. 1976 Avalon Hill Game Company, Baltimore, Maryland. Formerly a Minnesota mining and manufacturing game. Hmm. You learn something new every day, huh? So, anyway, I picked that up. I just thought it was really kind of interesting. Something I've never seen before. And then, I think that's everything I got from there. And then I went over to the other thrift store, which was finished doing its move. And I picked up quite a few mugs because, you know, mugs are cheap. And... They can really be bread and butter for you when, you know, your bigger, your bigger, nicer items are not selling. A lot of people collect mugs because they're very collectible. They're very easy to collect. They're not very expensive. And it's a great collection to start if you're starting out. But I picked up quite a few. I got this one. I put better than I drive. A little travel mug with a flat bottom. The double handle. I got this little golf ball one with the T for the handle. Thought that was cute. I got another of the flat bottle tra bottom travel mugs. This is the pottery. It's kind of like a beehive design. If you can see that. I like the cobalt blue with the light, light cream color. And then I got another golf mug. I believe this one is Odagiri. a nice size great condition and then oh let me go back the first store I went to I was done with my mugs I picked up four of these 
This is in the first store. These are Stonecrest Clyde, C-L-Y-D-E, G3, that's what it's marked. I did do comps on these, I looked them up. I got four of them. I think I got four of them for $2. And I looked those up and the most recent sold on this was I think $12 per. So if I can sell them at 12 each, that's $48. Great condition. These look brand new like they've never even been used. So I like that one. Then again, back to the other store. I picked up these. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. And it has on here Titian Ware, it's Adams, uh, Royal Ivory from England, hand painted. It's, it's got handwritten on the bottom, but it looks like it's under the glaze, 2588. But it's a fruit pattern. It's got a basket weave design here that's textured with a scalloped edge. I got eight of those. Now I did not pay $3 a piece for these. These were in the sale thing, so I was able to bulk them together and get them this, this along with some other things for two dollars all together. So I did really well on those. Don't know the comps on those yet, but still, for that price, how can you say no? This is one of the other things I picked up in that two dollar bulk. It's these little plates. It's Cavalier Eggshell by Homer Laughlin. And I think this is the spring design. I'm not real sure, but it's the pink with like the platinum looking edge. I got one, two, three, four, five of those. I know, odd number, but that's what I got. And then I also picked up this little guy. I don't know if I'm actually going to let him go. I did pay up, I paid $7 for him, $6.99. But look at that. And I know he has some age to him because instead of being marked Japan, Germany, blah, 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 it's marked foreign on the bottom. Excellent condition. It's got some crazing underneath the glaze, but it's a high glaze piece. No chips or cracks. Let's see, good size. So, I may end up keeping him. I kind of fell in love with him in the store, so we'll see. And then, I think I spoke about this before, I found the turkey planter. This again was in with my lot for $2. So, I know it's not Thanksgiving, but and this is a more contemporary piece, but for that price, it was like getting it for free, so I had to grab it. But see, look how he's designed. You have a place here, a place there, and a place there. So, I call it a planner. I guess you could use it for utensils or whatever you want to use it for. So, I'll probably hold on to him until, you know, Thanksgiving time. No marks. Um, like I said, I don't think it's a very old piece. It's designed to look old, but still, I think it's great. And then I got this piece. I paid two ninety nine for, it, which was too much, I know. But I don't know. There's something about it. I believe it's supposed to have a top on it to make it look like a pineapple. I thought somebody could still use it as a replacement piece. Or a standalone. You can almost use it like a spooner. So, grab that. And I got this. Let me get it over here. It's my little mushrooms. The salt, which it does have some damage to, which salt is corrosive. So, on wood. I mean, it makes sense. And then the little pepper mill. But it is marked Japan on the bottom of the pepper mill. I couldn't find markings anywhere else on it. So 
but there is a little wear damage to the finish on this, but I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> and this I got, which I don't even have, I haven't even untaped it yet, but it's from a tea set, a child's tea set toy, and I think it came from two different lots, but they have them taped together. It's got the little blue flow platter in the back, and then the little teapot with the lid. This marked Made in Japan. It's in pretty good condition. I would call, I guess they're both Blue Willow, but I would think that the platter piece there has a little more age to it than this does. Either way, see, this one's like, they didn't spend a lot of time on children's toys, you know, making sure they were perfect. But it's missing, like, they didn't finish the glaze at the bottom. That's not chipped or damaged, it's just unglazed. They didn't color it and do anything with it. It's like they just missed the glaze completely there. But still thought it was a really cute, you know, I'm going to lot them together probably. Even if they don't match 100%, I think they're close enough. I'll probably lock those together. And I think that may be everything. I did end up getting, <clears throat> which is um, over in the kitchen. I don't have it in here right now. A Hello Kitty. It's a little glass uh, steamer bowl. My daughter actually found it, so I'll give her credit for it. And she wants to keep that, so we probably will not end up selling that. She'll probably end up keeping it because it's Hello Kitty in pink. So that's what happens when you go to thrift stores with your daughter. She always finds something that she likes that probably has great resale value because she has good taste, but I always end up keeping it. So anyway, I think that was everything I picked up today. If I can remember, if I missed anything, I'll throw it in another video for you guys. But anyway. Have a great day, and I will see you guys later.